Electricity supply across West Africa has not been steady, a situation key players said has not made it cost effective for producers, leaving them at a disadvantage and consumers dissatisfied. For these reasons and more, members of West Africa Power Producers' webs have converged on Abuja, Nigeria, to agree on how to synchronize power network across the sub-region for easier access to electricity. We are specifically looking at the generators. So the Echo WAP has recruited GE, which will look at all the free governor and all the generators in West Africa. And this workshop is to synthesize all the generators for them to cooperate with uh, GE so that we can tune the generators free government in a way that it will be easier to synchronize the three islands across West Africa. In 2012, World Bank provided 21.5 million US dollars under the West Africa Power Producers Technical Assistance of Network Integrated Projects to support the synchronization. At the moment, Nigerian eight other countries have been interconnected to the network. In the West Africa subregion, we only have three synchronous separate blocks. Niger, Nigeria, Niger, and part of uh, Benin block. Then there's the Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire, Burkina Faso, and, uh, and part of Togo, and part of Mali, and then the Senegal part. Projects and is only a milestone, I would say, a stone in the big objective to interconnect all the country. And G is committed to support all the utility and WAP as usual. But this is still far from the target of a pool of electricity network the West Africa Power Producers has set for itself at a cost effective price. Mwesi Igono, AIT News, Abuja.